in chapter five. Uh, 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 uh. We are you sure you want to grunt like that in this game? Chapter five. Okay, you just messed me up, Rosa. <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> We're not starting an episode off like this. Except we are. We're so already watch, there. Let's go ahead and narrate. Let's do this. Let's narrate. I'm going to continue my let's awkward conversation. Narrate. So I'm going to drink some water. Things somehow feel a bit different than before. Okay, Brandy? Just, I need you to accept that. Especially with you grunting like that. Oh my god. <laughs> I knew that she was happy, but it seemed like she was holding something back at the same time. She wasn't like her usual feverish and energetic self. I don't think they understand what feverish means. No, because like if she has like blushed cheeks, that's kind of feverish. But yeah, whatever, you know. Cool. But I mean, you can be feverishly excited about something. You can. That's true. It's not used very much in English anymore mm -mm. that I've seen. No. So I don't know. It was almost as if. She was in love with me. Chakra! Yay! No more awkward conversation! Vanilla's back! Oh, I was hoping for another <laughs> one. Uh? That's my best Tim Allen grunt. Uh? That's yeah, I can't do it. I definitely can't do it. <gasps> yeah, you're surprised, Chocolate. You really did. What are you trying to do, Vanilla? Sheesh. Oh, this is what you'd call a false accusation. Or an unfounded suspicion. Like, again, what is she talking? I don't get it. I don't know. It's because Chocolate said that... Um, you surprised me. Yeah. Oh, this is... Uh-huh. You two surprised me, too. It's your fault because you are using me to be able to get all close and lovey-dovey with Chocolate. Look at her eyes. Like, whoa. I, I don't understand. Like, whoa. <laughs> I wasn't doing anything other than rubbing Chocolate's head, like always. Your scent is different. A cat girl's nose can't be fooled. <laughs> In any case, I think I'm going to sit between Mr. and Chocolate here. Move out of my way! <laughs> I thought Vanilla was all for this relationship. Um, I think she wants Chocola, and then I guess. Master can be third, probably or second or whatever. Like just down or the just chain. out of the picture. Yeah, out of the picture. Her eyes. Ugh. If so you scary. don't make some space, I'm gonna have to use force. I'm gonna sit down here either way. Wait up! Wait up! Wait up! You're pretty heavy here, Vanilla Sun. Why are they suddenly putting San in here? Because he's scared. Uh, and not Master So Rude. I mean, that is kind of mean. It is. That's not what I mean. No, that's not fair. Getting to sit on Master's lap like that. Chocolate wants you too. Here I go. Give me one of Master's legs. That's fair, okay? Wait, do you want to repeat that, Rose? No. No, you want to repeat that? no, just read your line. I don't know line. if everyone heard you. Just well. read your line. This is what humans call two blessings at once, right? Before that, you two do know about the concept of public morals in society, right? You have your bells. You're supposed to know this by now. In any case, please get off my lap. Seriously now. But you're enjoying this, though. Denied. Okay, then. Chocolate also denies your request. Brrr. Before I knew it, Chocolate was her old self again. Yeah. Because our moment in the sun was interrupted. Thank goodness. Well, as long as she's happy, there's nothing to worry about. But in the end, my break time ended up not feeling like a break at all. Mostly because... I was with two cat girls and when I just wanted to, to be with chocolate mm -hmm. and was completely spent with the two of them. What I'm hearing is that he cannot handle two girls at once. He's not enough of a man, Rose. This could be a problem later in this story. You know, really good. I'm just saying. Yep. Ah, the racing in my heart won't slow down.
Yay. And here we go. Yay. Here we go. Yay. <sighs> Chaka, can you give this invoice to Master? Uh, okay. Understood. Chocolate will go do that now. Because we have to get to the back somehow. Uh-huh. Master, here's the invoice for tomorrow's order. Sounds good. I'll take a look at it later. Okay, I'll put it in the usual place then. Good job. <coughs> well done. What now? Stare. Because I always say what I'm doing aloud. Stare. Stare. <laughs> Closer. Boob jiggle. Boobs. Uh. Pat. On the butt. Mm hmm? <laughs> sniff, sniff. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Ah, pen. Pants. Under. Um, chocolate sun? Mew, what's up, master? Uh, meow, what's up? Isn't the answer I'm looking for? Why? Why is Chocolate stuck to Master's back? Master, you shouldn't force Chocolate onto your back, okay? Totally. Yeah. Holds up. Yeah. Yeah. Hold up. Hold up. Clearly, you stuck yourself. On to me, Chocolate. Huh? Chocolate did? To Master? I didn't mean to in real life. It was mm, just a daydream. It was a fantasy. Yeah, exactly that. Mm? Whoa. The eyes. The Those eyes. are some big eyes. <laughs> Whoa. Even with that said, I don't think I would have... Puzzled, she frantically tilted her head left and right. Is she sick with some terrible disease? Yeah. Uh huh. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. They're wow. All sick. sick with terrible diseases. Okay. That's just it. Mm -hmm. This just started happening mere seconds ago, though. Are you all right? You've been kind of out of it since we got back from our break. Chocolate is fine. Chocolate is a bell holding cat girl, after all. Anyways, I left the invoice over there. Later! Boops, boops, boops. Bye! Boops. I'm taking my boop jiggle boops. this way! Well, if she says she's fine, then I guess there's nothing wrong. Boobs. It didn't seem like she was making any particular mistakes while working either. Boobs. I'll think about things after observing her a bit more. Her boobs. I thought about that as I watched her back. I mean, her butt. I mean, I yeah, I watched her walk away. I mean, mm. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. As yeah. John told me, has told me many times. Yeah. I hate to see you go, but I, I love, love to, to watch, watch you leave. leave. Yeah. <laughs> Just like really, mm -hmm. really. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sigh, pet, sigh. Some guys are just booty guys. Some guys are boob guys. And then there's some that like both. Yeah. Equally the same. Yeah. Are you all right, Chocolate? You, oh yeah, Chocolate is just thinking that today is kind of hot. <laughs> I don't think it's any hotter than usual, though. Oh, we're almost out of Milfa, yeah. Chocolate's going to go let Master know. That way I can feel him up. I mean, mm. talk to him. I mean, stare. Ah, Chocolate. Um. Uh, oh, I figured she was going to be the one talking. Yeah, I you know? I got, I got oh, Chocolo, what's wrong? Uh, Master, you, uh, 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 well. What did Chocolo need to tell you again? You're telling me. Chocolate spaced out as she tilted her head in confusion again. Well, I felt like she was staring at my butt. It didn't seem like she was doing it on purpose. Mm. I wonder what's gotten into her. It was clear that she wasn't herself. Nope. Somehow, she looks a bit flushed, too. 
Does she maybe look feverish? She's, maybe she's coming down with a cold. Maybe so. I'm just gonna feel your forehead here, okay? <sighs> Master. I touched her small forehead because it was more of a three head than a five head. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're going with here. <laughs> her body shivered with a twitch. Oh, Rose, your, your <laughs> jokes. The puns. Oh, the puns. Yep. Mm -hmm. I can feel chocolate shivering slightly through the palm of my hand. Aren't you supposed to use the back of your hand to uh -huh. feel if people uh -huh. are warm? Uh -huh. Just making sure. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It didn't particularly seem like she had a fever or anything. Uh, master. Huh? Chocola? Oh, Mew, man. sniff, sniff. Mew, master. Is she going through heat? Yeah, I think. Like, is maybe, she going yeah, into heat? I think it is. Must be heat. Gotta so. be. It has to be. Wait, yeah. Chocola. Hey! And like him, like proposing to her, probably just made it way worse. Uh, seriously. Yeah. Sniff, sniff. Master smells so sweet. Ah, oh, meow. She cute. She cooed in a sweet voice I hadn't heard before. Mm. Still clinging to me, she rubbed her cheek against mine, even though she clearly can't reach my cheek because I am obviously taller than her. Mm -hmm. Master, master. Brrr. It was clear that she wasn't feeling like herself. Mm -mm. Her voice was especially sugary sweet. Mm. You could even say there was a stickiness to it. I don't think you really should say that, though. Her grip on my back and my friend tightened. I could feel a certain degree of sensuality in her actions. Oh, chocolate, so sorry. I'll just back up with my boob jiggle. Boop, boop, boob. Oh, oh, errands. Chocolate had errands to do, right? Ah, uh, ah, uh, well. She suddenly came to her senses and let go of me. But I was sad to feel her step away. She flailed her arms about as she howled in confusion. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna go with it. I stick to what I said. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's in the back of the refrigerator, right? Milfoy, Milfoy. Hmm. Hey, Vanilla, do you know what's with Chocola? Should we find out what's with Chocola next time? Sounds good. Come back next time and we'll find out what's going on with Chocola. Bye, guys. Bye.